on. So, okay, I'm recording. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. We've got Carla on the show here. And why don't you just tell us a little bit about who you are, your background, and how you got started in uh, your journey with fitness. Sure. Yes. My name is Carla and I actually loved fitness as a kid. Um, as a kid, I was doing soccer and basketball and track and field and long distance running like all the time. I was into everything and that continued into high school. And then after high school, I actually moved to Florida. So I left my friends and my family. I didn't really have a whole lot down here. Uh -huh. so I started to just kind of dive into my career and I picked paralegal um, and I actually met my husband then and we have two little beautiful girls now but I was working probably 60 plus hours um, a oh. lot, yeah a lot of commuting back and forth because I had to actually go to the city and I live on the outskirts um, so I was just kind of having a lot of guilt for being away all the time. Mm -hmm. And that started into depression and anxiety. So it got so bad that I literally couldn't leave my house. So I ended up going on a medical leave. Mm -hmm. And that's when I found my coach. And that's when I actually started fitness. Um, I was working out once a day from my home. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that was the, honestly the only thing that got me out of bed was just working out. And so I started the online community group as kind of just an accountability for myself because mm -hmm. I started and stopped so many diets and it just blew up. It just <laughs> blew up into what it is today. Um, now I am a online health coach. I mentor women all around, you know, the world. And I, I just love it. I, you know, I love to hear their stories. I love to hear their background. It's so inspiring, and I know how much it helped me, not only physically, but also mentally. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's so nice to be able to give back and to um, just, you know, just to dive into it. I, you know, I do do it full time. Mm -hmm. I also work part time. So I'm working 60 hours again, but a lot of it is on myself now. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also devote a lot of time to helping others to make sure they're you know, they're doing the things that they need to do. They're doing their self-love and their personal development because that's such a big part of working out, I think, is also yeah. the mental part. So true, so true. Well, thank you for sharing your, your story with us. I can so relate to <laughs> finding exercise as such a great coping mechanism for stress and anxiety and depression. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're totally in alignment there. I knew I, knew I wanted to connect with you, so... <laughs> Um, for a purpose. Um, one of, and that's a great transition to our next question. One of the pillars of Move Happy is really about building community and you've had success um, huge online. What are some of your favorite tips or strategies that you could share with our audience on how to get a community started if they're not connected with one or they want to start one? Sure. So the best advice that I got right at the beginning was, um, Honestly, if you want to grow, you have to lean into your fear. And so coming from depression and anxiety, you know, I couldn't get out of my house. I was terrified of the community. I didn't trust people. I had problems with judgment. Yeah. So I just dove into it. I dove into it full fledged. Um, I now spend probably two hours a day just online talking to people, motivating people, um, sometimes just asking questions, making them think about things differently. I try to give food tips. I do a lot of quick meals because I do have two little girls. Yeah. Um, shakes, things like that, just, just to get into the community. But you really, unless you try, you'll never know. And the response you get once you start diving in the community was nothing like I feared. It's been so positive. Mm -hmm. And I, I will now have people that tell me, you know, I'm the reason that they get out of bed because they watch mm -hmm. me work out. It gives mm -hmm. them strength. It gives them motivation. So wow. it's really, really, really different. I, um, I also, my daughter is in Girl Scouts. So I do a lot locally here. Um, we have like a, a dog food drive going on right now. We have a clothing drive going on. I got together with Parks and Rec and we are, 
we built little bird houses and we're going to put them up in a local park for the local birds. So it's just, it went from being terrified of it to just diving full into it, not looking back and just wherever I can help putting myself in there. Love that. Love that. Great tips. Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of elements of focusing on others and really just taking action despite being scared to, to start doing something in your community or online. So great tips. Thank you for that. Um, another pillar of Move Happy is about having a positive mindset. Um, mm -hmm. We know this world can be a really negative place. And as you mentioned, you know, fears and moving to a new city, different things like that. What, uh, what are some of your favorite tips to keep a positive mind despite all the negativity around us? Sure. And this is actually a huge one for me because um, that was, I lived in that terrible space for so long. But the best thing that I've found, honestly, is routine. So if you start every day the same, you start right off from the morning. So the first thing that I do every morning is I work out because, I mean, let's face it, once you work out, you're in a good mood, you're not, you know, miserable. So I always feel good then. And then I transition into personal development so i'll either listen to podcasts or i will do audible on my way to work or around the house um i'm not sure if you're familiar with rachel hollis no no oh she's amazing i do her start today journal okay that's where you have um you'll write five things that you're grateful for and okay. you'll write 10 of your dreams and then one of your, your goals for that day. So I'll do that every morning just to kind of set wow. my day. Um, <clears throat> I do meditation as well. Mm -hmm. So usually in the middle of the day, I'll do like a one to five minute meditation just to regroup because, you know, life gets hectic and you're mm -hmm. stressed out. So that helps. At the end of the day, I will always write down um, three things that I'm grateful for for that day, just to keep that going in tonight. Yeah. Um, and like I said, I did struggle with just leaving my house. So music helps me to go in a good mind space. I will put on like my favorite jam and I'll jump around in my house before I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's what I was doing this morning. <laughs> yeah. You just got to pump yourself up sometimes. <laughs> Love yeah. it. Those are great tips. Awesome. Thank you so much. No and then, um, of course, move happy. Uh, one of the other elements uh, is about fitness. And I had first started the, the program actually started from a gift. I created a program for my patients in a psychiatric hospital. Yeah. Um, they were just so compassionate to me when I lost my father, my, like my first week on the job, like third day. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to give them something back, but they had like zero budget at the hospital. And then if the patients got discharged, they had about $50 a month yeah. of discretionary income. So I wanted to empower them with tips and strategies and ways to work out without equipment necessary. Not that I'm against equipment, but I just thought that there's so many ways we can move our bodies without it. Mm -hmm. So what are some of your favorite exercises or fitness styles or moves or, or sports or anything that's like low cost? Sure. So some of my favorite is, well, the number one I would say is hiking. I love to hike and it comes from Vermont. I mean, I miss the mountains down here in Florida, but there's still mm -hmm. plenty of beautiful water to walk around. So I do enjoy hiking. Kayaking is another free one that you can do to basically anywhere down here in Florida. And that's something you can get your kids involved in too. Um, riding bikes is another one. There's so many bike trails down here and, and my kids are just kind of starting to ride their bikes. So it's a big deal for us to get out there and move yeah. around and ride our bikes um, and camping, you know, being a Girl Scout troop mom, we got to yeah. do the camping. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All the fun that goes with that. Um, and the last thing I can think of would be gardening. I will buy like cheap garden, like cheap um, flowers that are on clearance at Lowe's or whatever, mm -hmm. and just plant them because they're so pretty to look at for one. Yep. So it puts you in a happy mindset, but just to be outside, fresh mm -hmm. air, the grass, you just feel much better. Yeah, touching the dirt, getting all earthy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then uh, what is, what's something that you're working on right now, whether in your business or volunteering that we can support you with here at the Move Happy Community? Sure. So right now I am working on, you know, growing my online community, reaching out to women. I'm so big right now on women supporting women. Um, my Instagram handle is Carla Squats a lot. So a lot of people will join me on there, but I'm just reaching out to them to see what I can help with, especially with self-love. Um, mental, mental illness is, is definitely tough. I have a few um, websites that have reached out to me. I've shared my story on that just to, you know, to get them to realize that um, life is happening for them, not to them, and just try mm -hmm. to change people's mindset to be more positive and happy and, and just start to see the joy in things. So that's basically what I'm really focused right now is just building that community and lifting okay. it up. Okay, so everybody needs to follow you on the Instagram channel. Yeah. That's a lot. Love it. Awesome. Yeah, and, or you can email me if you don't have Instagram. It's the same, Carla Squats a lot at Gmail, and then I'm also on Facebook. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Thank you for that. And then lastly, for fun, if you could mm -hmm. eat fruit, what fruit would you be and why? <laughs> okay, so a fruit, um, I would be, I would pick a pomegranate. Um, I just think they're an underestimated fruit. Um, they're <laughs> tough and usually at first look, you don't even feel like dealing with them. But once you dive in, you peel it away, you section it out, you know, get into it. And then you see just all the superpower foods that is inside. And I feel like that has just been my journey. Like I've been so closed mm -hmm. off and sheltered and now I'm just coming out in full force. <laughs> Your layers are unpeeled. I love that. I love that. Best answer so far. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being a part of the Move Happy podcast and vlog. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unwrinkle.